Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays video. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up your Model Converter X program so that you can import aircraft from Flight Simulator X or 10 uh, or even uh, Flight Simulator 9 which is FS 2004. First thing we want to do, I'll have the link in the description, we want to go to get the SDK. If you do not already own Flight Simulator 10 or FSX and haven't already got it installed on your system, you will need an SDK. You do not need Flight Simulator X to do this. So I've got the link in the description. You can go either to the direct, uh, it'll have download written after that, or you can just press go to download. And it will actually download directly from Lockheed Martin server, which is where we're getting this from. Then what we want to do, once we've uh, downloaded that, you can put that in either a folder on your desktop, in your documents, wherever you want to have it. But make sure you have uh, extracted the Prepare 3D out. And then open up your Model Converter X. I will make this a little larger so that uh, people on smaller screens can read it. Okay, Options. Now, I'm going to leave all of these general settings as default, render settings as default, importer as default, exporter, this is very important, this is where we start uh, changing the locations. So, it, or I think it automatically puts FS2004, I'm going to leave that, FSX path, you want to have where you have put your Prepare3D, SDK, now I've got the link for one for 1.4.4747 then we want to go to environmental kit your bgl compiler sdk and get the bgl comp exe that is for the fsx bgl comp path you will need a writer so you want the bglx flat writer Again, same SDK, Environmental Kit, Terrain SDK, and I've got the SHP2VEC, which is exactly what this is. You're finding the path for that file. Most importantly, though, to get your FSX aircraft in, you will need to have a FSX to X, X to MDL path. So that's this one here. Let's bring this over a fraction. Now mine just happens to be in uh, program files Lockheed Martin because I do have Flight Simulator 10 installed. But you want to go through the Prepare 3D folder that you've downloaded, if you don't have it, Environmental Kit Modeling 3D SM 2012 Plugins, so these are all different folders, X to MDL EXE. So if you can actually address it all that, and then you can use the same address for your P3D version 2, version 4, version 4.4. .4. I think you may have trouble doing 4.4 .4 on this older SDK. Um, also, I don't think anything bef after version 4.0 actually will convert into Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Other things we want to do is textures. So that's your export. That's the most important one. These ones down here, especially this one. You have to address it correctly, or otherwise you will get a thing saying it cannot find the X2 MDL EXE, which is probably why you're here. Uh, textures. So you might want to use a texture path. This one seems to be going to a Sobo Buildings. I'm not sure why it's finding that one. I didn't even uh, put that in, but I did put the image tool in. So if you do have an issue where you need to do an image tool, so you can go through the same Prepare 3D Environmental Kit Terrain SDK, and there's an image tool in there. EXE, just direct it to that. By directing it, you actually press the little dots at the back. That's not it, that's a file I want to open, but you would go and find that in your Prepare 3D Environmental Kit Terrain Image Tool. So the same, again, back at that exporter, you open up your folder and you will locate through environment kit modeling 3dsm 2012 plugins and you get that more, most important one x2mdl 
Exe. When it comes to object uh, model settings, don't worry about it. Like leave them default. If you look at your uh, flight sim related settings, it will ask for path for potentially like your FS 2004. I don't think I have that installed, so it went default. My FSX path, I actually have two. I have a backup one on my E drive. I think I still actually have one on my main drive. It's got my backup one. Model def um, definition path. Again, prepare 3D environmental kit, modeling SDK bin, and then model def XML. Microsoft Flight Sim um, path. There you go. Packages. Uh, prepare 3D or P3D path. Lockheed Martin, prepare 3D. Uh, you can leave the rest vacant. Again, though, most important is the exporter. You will need this one here, FSX2 X2 MDL path. All right. Uh, what I will do is I will put this part in the description for you guys. So what we can do now is just as a quick demo, open up a particular MDL been playing around with this SU-34. If I want to uh, do any modifications, like I've changed the uh, glass to be a little more transparent. I've also um, updated the animations. There was an issue with the tail hook not being uh, correct. Having to do all of that, when I go back to export, and I export it onto the same thing, it will want to know where the FSX to MDL file is. So there we go, it uses the definition as well, and it has finished. That's how to set up Model Converter X. If I have forgotten anything, please let me know, put a comment down below. I have shown how to use some of the, let's go back to that, on my um, how to import a B2 bomber. I showed how to check the animations that they are correct. Let's close that one and go full again. Also your hierarchy. Uh, make sure that you get rid of all the mouse rectangle. This is just extra stuff. Uh, you can also do your materials editor. Go highlight. This is now too big, I can't see it. And as you scroll down and find things like the canopy, and I've changed the frame buffer blend to one so that it is now transparent. It's probably actually got a blue tinge to it. Okay, these things I have on my channel as well. All right, that's how to uh, use the Model Converter X and set up your options. Quick reminder, exporter, you need to change this address to the downloaded Prepare3D SDK 1.4.4747. Point zero. That's the preferred one to use for importing the FSX aircraft. Thanks for watching. Write a comment down below if I have forgotten anything. Uh, come join me on Discord and or come and join me in on a flight with whatever aircraft you have converted. Cheers. Enjoy. Bye.